Okay. Today is Saturday, November 14th, around 11 a.m. So, what's been done since the last video? The last video, they had just poured the concrete for the basement wall. Since then, they've removed the formwork and they've placed this um, bituminous sealant on the outside. And these are drains for window wells. I'm going to have some window wells here because I'm going to put some flower beds around the side of the house that will be a bit elevated. So you can see the windows. Um, here are the windows. Later they're going to do the uh, concrete lintel. But they can't now because when they lower the house these beams are going to come down. And this is not a window. This is another opening for this beam. This is my uh, stairs from the outside to the basement and a window. You see the red marking? That's where they need to cut the concrete so that when they lower the beam, the beam will come down here. Likewise, they have to cut the concrete here so that if you look underneath, when they lower it, see? This beam is going to come down here. They've corrected the footings for the columns. They're all nice and in the right place. This is the only normal window I'll have in the in the whole basement that hopefully will make you forget. This this is going to be this area will be sort of like a living room area. Kind of a central rec room, living room, family room, whatever, open area here. And you'll have a normal window. Hopefully you'll forget that you're in a basement. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so the next step. These are testing samples. These two. Testing samples. When the concrete was poured, four samples were made. One of these will be tested on Monday at seven days and the other one a week later at 14 days. This is to verify the strength of the concrete to see if we can lower the house. In the summer, you can normally lower a house after about a week. But since we're November in Montreal, it gets rather cold. It goes down below freezing about every second night. Uh, the window, the concrete takes a bit longer to cure. Now for the first four days we did have uh, insulated sheets, that's what these are, covering the concrete. The concrete was poured on Monday where we had unseasonably, unseasonably warm weather. It was quite beautiful. Uh, and that's when I did the last video. The following morning, Tuesday morning when it was still quite warm out. We had a very warm night, Monday to Tuesday. But later that afternoon I asked my contractor to put these insulating sheets over because it's important that the concrete uh, preserve its uh, warmth during the first four days because those are the critical days for curing. And when it drops below freezing, the reaction slows down considerably. So yesterday, the insulating sheets were removed, the formwork was removed, this, um, this bitumen was placed, the drains for the window wells were installed, and I have to stop for a moment.
Nee, nee. Jeez, I was chafing the whole time. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, Alright, what was I saying? I forget what I was saying. Yeah. Alright, next week... Next week they're going to cut out these beams and put in the new beams. They're Paralam beams, which is a kind of a of uh, plywood actually um, 14 inches deep 7 inches wide and the columns will also be parallel columns so there'll be a beam here another one here and the third one under you can't see it And the third beam, here I'll go down. Alright, the third beam is going to go under here. Under the uh, bearing wall, the outer wall. So. So some interesting shots. This is the underside of my house with uh, one of the old beams that's going to be replaced and the joists. You see how they're made? Nah, this is it. I think you can see it better here. Here. You can see how the bay, the beams are made. The beams, uh, the joist uh, butt up against the beam and they're held up by these uh, two by threes. In French they're called the lambourne. I don't know what they're called in English. But we're going to use a similar system with our parallel beams. Except these lambournes are going to be two by fours. Bolted in with bolts. Should be interesting. I want this stuff wet. Still a bit sticky. See, this is this is sort of the bitumen. There's gobs of it. It's rather gross. How do I stop this?